All right, everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. Here's our current advancement progress on the screen. And since we last left off, I did more beautification and aesthetics. Wow, look, a completed window. Isn't that incredible? With more glass on the way in order to, I could actually finish the upper window now, potentially. Let's do a couple sets of these and then wow, watch it happen. Also, look, it's now got a roof and it's, like sealed up so that we don't just see the cave on all sides. And I did put torches on the top in the hope that we don't get a bunch of mobs spawning on the ceiling that we hear all the time. So we'll see. We'll see if I lit it up enough, but um, I can always, you know, go back and light it up better if we need to. But hey, now we can have pretty aesthetically pleasing areas. If I want this to match the bottom, I do need to go get some more copper Take another trip to the trial chamber, maybe, and figure out prettier ways of lighting this up. Maybe with some of the copper bulbs. I don't know. But anyway, look at that. And we're almost there. And what? One piece of glass short? Are you kidding me? Had to make a full 16 more to do that. Unbelievable. Anyway, I also expanded our farming area a little bit. I ran out of the tough bricks to be able to fully uh, uh, enclose the whole thing so we have stuff to walk on. And I also haven't tilled that extra grass, which I should probably do, but gives us an opportunity to plant more stuff if we want to do that. And all in all, just, you know, some quality of life base improvements. All right, there we go. Looking great today. I do actually, speaking of things related to our base, I want to work on like sheep farmage, or at least like starting sheep farmage so that we can work our way up and then have access to lots of wool when we eventually need to do some nether bed mining. So let me grab some of my wheat. Where would that be in the agriculture? I put it in the agriculture? Yes. And then I did see when I was getting some sand for glass that it looked like there were some sheep over yonder, but I need some fences. The question is like, do I want to bring them back closer? Or do I want to expend a firework every single time? Hmm. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just, uh, we'll bring some of this stuff over there. And also I, I just harvested some more wood. I kind of, I, I need some dirt. So I flattened out that area and planted some trees. And um, I'll show you on the way back. I didn't want to waste my firework. Okay, so we do have some sheep here. Do we want to, you know, bring them in? What's up, guys? Is there another one over there? There is another one over there. I mean, it does make things a little bit easier if we start off with you know, more. We can we can already do some breeding. So hey, guys, make it. it will, oh, hey, buddy, hey, come on over here. Come on, let's go, let's go. We're having a party. You should all join. I mean, in fact, this is going to be a very non-violent party. I'm just going to be shearing you, which. I think it's actually like you're supposed to do with sheep, right? Because the wool can, you know, obstruct their vision and stuff. So it's actually like they, they are meant to be sheared. I always somehow end up bringing the crafting table when I already have one in my inventory. I'm like blind to when crafting tables exist. And I don't know why. Don't know. How. It's just been this way for so long. And I feel so dumb about it. All right, uh, so that's probably fine. Okay, cool. Good thing I mined that wood. Um, we'll do a little bit of, uh, I don't know if this is actually square or not, but thank goodness we already had some wool and I can just uh, do that. Cool. All right, oh yeah, 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 you guys are probably a little hungry. I got you, I got you there. Make some babies and we're gonna get ourselves tons and tons of wool eventually so that we can get lots of beds, so that we can get lots of nether mining done for debris. Did I uh, I make it odd? God, I hope so. Can you imagine if I made it even and now I can't center the torches? I did make it even or odd, I think. Don't actually know for sure. <laughs> okay. Anyway, all right, enjoy your new lives, friends, and I'll be back periodically to visit to multiply you. Okay, so here's the part where I just, uh, I flattened out this area, needed some dirt, planted some trees. Hey, look, there we go. Lots of easy peasy wood, although getting to efficiency five on here would be very nice. We are probably gonna end up doing a little bit of enchantment cycling during this session, mostly for respiration though, because I do wanna start looking at trident hunting as well as sniffer egg finding with the uh, sussy gravel and sand and stuff like that. I just, I wanna actually focus on a trident earlier because, you know, if we do get a thunderstorm, I'd like to be ready to go because of how painful 
it is to deal with that, and that's why a lot of speedruns are uh, like thunderless speedruns because of how painful it is to deal with that component of things. Right, so another thing that I wanna do is, oh yeah, I got the advancement for Pairs of the Bats. I haven't bred any animals yet. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of stuff to do, but it's great, I, first step done. I want to do the bullseye advancement. I love cheesing for bullseye, and it ties in really well with the wheat that I just uh, offloaded. But let's get ourselves a target block, and you know what's gonna be really fun is to see if I've actually remembered how it is that you make a tar target block. Because me and crafting recipes don't necessarily get along very well. This is how you do it, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, let's go! This is an accomplishment for me, okay? It may not be for you, but I have a bad memory. All right, so we're gonna need redstone dust. I have to remind myself of the distance, though. I might need a repeater. Actually, what am I talking about? I don't need a repeater. I can just trigger the trapdoor with a button, and that'll be cheaper and easier than doing like a piston and a repeater that I, I click manually so we can still shoot something. We'll have to have some amount of target practice accuracy. Just don't actually have to hit the uh, the bullseye, which I, I still need to remind myself how far away I need to be. But I'm sure that we'll have enough space right over here. All right, let's do some cheesing. This is my favorite thing to do, by the way. I love doing this advancement this way because it's fun. So we do a little bit of that and then we just need to get far enough away that we, uh, you know, make sure that we're not gonna be triggering as we shoot onto it. And then, you know, just, just pop a few arrows into there. Just pop them in, easy peasy. Once you fire enough, one of these is bound to hit the bullseye once the trap door is removed, right? Watch, I'm gonna end up having messed up the trap door. I, it doesn't have to, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't have to be non-infinity. God, I hope it's not, it doesn't have to be non-infinity arrows. Uh, otherwise, boy, have I uh, messed things up. Anyway, so let's just bring this out over to here. Get the button in a nice convenient location for us to shoot at. And then we'll shoot at the button from a little farther away. I think this is probably good, right? I. I didn't look up the distance, but I'm just gonna assume we're far enough away. You're fr you freaking idiot. Did that not bull- Are you- Did that- mm, Did that not bullseye? I don't know about you, but that, that looks pretty bullseyed right there. God dang it! I looked it up. It says 32 blocks, so yeah, I may not have been far enough away. Pretty sure we bullseyed there, so we'll just go further next time. Okay. We're gonna say that that uh, works, because if it doesn't this time, and I'm 32 blocks away, where are we at right now? So I just need to be like negative 520. So we'll give ourselves still a little bit of a challenge, right? I still have to shoot the button. We'll do it from the hillside over there. And um, so there's 580. We're gonna go all the way to negative 625, maybe 630, just for safety. And we're gonna shoot the button, and we're gonna hit it. All right, here we go. Doing a bullseye challenge of my own. I got it first try! Let's go! Maybe it would have been easier for me to just, I don't know, shoot the bullseye directly with those aiming skills. Man, hitting the button from that far away? Well, didn't actually hit the button. I hit the bottom of the block, but the button was like, you know what? Close enough. I'll give it to you. Good job. Good try. <laughs> now we can get rid of this uh, ugly monolith here that I've put together in my super aesthetically pleasing world. It's nice that you don't actually have to use uh, like real tangible arrows that you can do infinity arrows. And um, if I stood under this right now, it would probably spell the end of my series. <laughs> That's dramatic. On the topic of redstone related things, why don't we do an advancement I've never actually done before because the last all advancements run was 1.19 and this is a 1.20 advancement, which is that we have to go and make one of the uh, chiseled bookshelves, which I might make like a couple of them just because, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have them as aesthetic on the wall over at our enchantment area. Anyway, I do actually need to make a comparator now to go along with this which is definitely something that I remember uh, how to do for sure. Do I not have any quartz? Oop. It is no matter. I'm sure that there's some right next to our portal area, or maybe not. I might have to fly a little bit, but have I, did I never actually mine any quartz in the nether? Like at all? Did I not? It's kind of weird, honestly. 
Okay, where is some in an easily accessible spot? Right over there. Yeah, there was some over there, but I would have had to build up to it, and that would have been really lame. Otherwise, I can just run over here, and I can deal with the treacherous side of the mountain and get some quartz. Oh, you know what I did, though? Um, totally messed up last episode. You know how I was like, oh, this is the last time we have to go to the end, and uh, now that we've gotten the dragon respawn and the, uh, you need a mint? <sighs> sure you've realized this, I, I did forget a, a critical component, which is having a spyglass and looking at the dragon. So I am gonna have to respawn the dragon again. I've, I've bungled, I've bungled pretty hard if we're being honest with ourselves here. So that's, that's on me, that's on me. And I can only hope that you can forgive me. So whoopsie daisies. Okay, so where do we wanna put these? I don't know, we could just have some um, on the wall right here, this'll look pretty, right? Maybe we can expand it later on or something like that, but look at this, it's so cool. Okay, and now if we get a comparator right there, I didn't even need to put any, but I didn't realize, I, I literally don't even have to do anything. <laughs> that was the advancement. Man, I was thinking at least I'd have to put a book inside the dang thing. Nope, just this is your advancement. Place comparator next to bookshelf. You did great. You are winning, son. <laughs> the most challenging advancement I ever did do. Why don't we make this at least look kind of interesting, right? Just put some books in there, maybe fill up one of the shelves with all of them, and then have a couple in there. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay, cool. All right, you know what I do want to do that does force me to, well, do a little bit more, is I want to do Arbalistic, which is always a fun one. So we're gonna actually be able to put to use our piercing four enchant that we've had sitting up in the enchantment chest for a little bit, uh, which makes this pretty darn freaking convenient, right? Here's our piercing four. And then I know I had a crossbow back at the village. Did I keep it? That is a really, really greatly intact looking crossbow. This seems like a good one to enchant with, with piercing four and definitely remember to uh, repair it before it breaks, if we ever even bother to use it anymore. Anyway, here we go. We got freaking levels. Here we go. We uh, we will only have 36 attempts at doing our ballistic with this, to be fair, which could get dicey. That said, we also need to make a splash potion of poison. Oh dear. Oh dear. I have no gunpowder. Hmm. It's most inconvenient. I'm gonna go down underground and see if I can find someone to kindly donate me some gunpowder. Hello, thank you for coming. Thank you for, why did you do this? Wait, what the frick? You were not supposed to, shoot, I wanna do this with my bow. There we go. You were not supposed to be one hit. How did you already lose health? It's okay, we got four from the next one. And while we're down here, and if there's any more creepers inside, I might as well just go ahead and Snacks more gunpowder. In fact, if I wanted to, I could just go into the trial chamber. Now that we're kind of decked out and I could go collect some more copper blocks and maybe clear uh, a room or two. I, I've kind of, I've kind of been like holding off, waiting for them to implement whatever it is that the trial key is gonna unlock. But I also realize that it's probably gonna be a structure related thing, which means that I'm not going to even, you know, be able to do, like the room just won't exist here even after the update happens because it's not gonna generate retroactively. So it may just not be worth like waiting at all. There we go. Was I, was it good there? Was I good? I actually shouldn't light this up. Otherwise we're not gonna get any creepers. So, you know what? Maybe a little adventure is in order. Let's do this and then God, I hope I remember to put the Electra back on before I'm like, wee, let's glide over some lava and the series is over. <laughs> Here's the question. Where's our best uh, source of snagging some copper? Probably, yeah, all around here still. Oh, do we have any more trial spawners there? Oh wait, the trial spawners that I already did, those are gonna be here. Oh, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna, hey, gunpowder, thank you. Was I not collecting any gunpowder that I found earlier? Is that kind of silly of me? Yeah, hey, okay, so I see. You guys are back in action off a of cooldown, and I am gonna have to deal with this all over again if I wanna just freaking get the, okay, 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 I see you guys, I see you. This is kind of fricked up. Maybe I should, okay, oh my God, holy rapid fire. They're alternating their shots. Part of this is just equip the shield? I don't know. We're almost good, probably. I think that's it. We're done, we're done, we're done. 
Thanks for the taters, dude. Appreciate you. Uh, I am not gonna need all of these. Hey, at least I've got, uh, shulker boxes now for any averages. So, that said, we came in here for copper, right? So we can do continued aesthetic related things, but I feel like I can't just make a trip in here in between episodes because it's, it's like, it's kind of a dicey area, right? I can't just take a trip into real dicey areas when we're not recording because God forbid something does go wrong. Well, wouldn't be great if the series ended. <laughs> just make a make a vlog for the next episode like, hey guys, um, so sorry about this, but uh, I died in between episodes. So um, the series is, it's over now. It's my bad. Should have been more careful. Um, yep, that's it. Alrighty then, all in a day's work. Maybe the blue shulker will be things I've gotten on like a trip by trip basis, and then the purple is things that I want to keep with me at all times. I don't know, I'm trying to work it out here. Anyway, I could like try to just while we're here, do a little, um, it was back here, right? This is the place that I tried to clear last time. <laughs> do I want to go for it? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I can just like, I can just range these dudes now, right? Because we have a sick bow. So it does make it a lot easier. And then the blizzes, I can't really range them. But uh nope, don't do it. Oh my oh my god, his jukes are just way too strong. This is not okay. <laughs> yeah, I already got that. Hey man, um oh here he freaking goes. Ooh, yikes, he's gonna fire charge me. Alright. This one's spawning pretty slowly. Okay, calm it down, man. Calm it down. Wait, I oh god, I don't have any blocks on me. I probably should have uh, had blocks. Oops. Made a, made a mistake, made a mistake, made a bit of a mistake here, coming in kind of unprepared. All right, hey man, just just chill for like two seconds. Trial spawners all of a sudden just popping off again. Where are you going? Yikes. Huh. Thou shalt not, oh my god. Okay, nope, nope, all of a sudden every single freaking skeleton is out here ready for me and my armor is good to go. I've got full health. Did we get both, the, we got both those trial spawners. Let's get this one. The ice is melting. They're fighting each other, which is really great. Oh, it's not, it actually dispensed a water bucket, huh? That's cool. What are we getting here? Anything good? No, not, not particularly. Not particularly at all. Ender pearl. Is it one? One single ender pearl? You turn me into a porcupine. And that's all I get. A single one? Unbelievable. All right, there we go. I actually don't want to obstruct that. And there you go. Light it up. Make it nice in here. Turns out when you have a, you know, full, mostly prop four diamond, it's a lot easier to deal with this area. Was this my exit? Over? No. He's over there, right? All right, everybody. Well, we got ourselves um, some gunpowder. We got some more copper blocks for decoration and um, more than we even needed. Now, we just have to, we just have to come back whenever, well, find a new one. Whenever they implement the trial chamber, Trial, that is the trial chamber. What am I saying? Whenever, God dang it! Whenever they implement the the key room, whatever it ends up being, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you know, I actually probably should have grabbed some more tough so I could make more tough bricks, or I could have just gotten them from the trial chamber. But I'm thinking I need to, I need to complete the the thing, the circle, the circle, the square <laughs> around the uh, agriculture area. Is 12 going to be enough? Because if it is, man, did we just luck out, and it's going to be so. Beauty. I don't think it's gonna be enough. It's not quite. Oh man. One, two, three, four. Story of my life. Gosh dang it. Also, I'm not entirely sure why I got the buffer fish for making a splash potion of, of poison when that's water breathing. I think I was thinking about how did we get here and the fact that you eat a puffer fish in order to give yourself nausea. And I was thinking, well, you're also poisoned as well. So yeah, anyway, spider eye. Then we can, if I'm, I don't think I've made a brewing stand yet. So uh, it is time. The time has come to cook, Jesse. So there we go. And we do have nether wart. I should plant some. That might not be the worst idea, but for now, we only need one, and we have our glass, and we have so much water at our disposal right here. That is so cool. And then boom, and boom, and then we need to get, I always forget the part where you need to have the, you know, blaze powder in there. There we go, because it didn't always be that way, but it do. And boom, and should I make it a potion level two, poison two? Probably not. 
necessary. I could just make it a longer one so that like we ensure that if I don't punch everybody beforehand, they still make it all the way. I'm gonna do that. We'll just give it a little extent. I just don't have a glowstone on me at the moment. So I'm just like, hey, you know, just make it longer and, and that way I don't have to go to the nether, even though I need to get the soul sand too. And I could do it while the arrow is going, but, but I'm just not. Okie dokie, surely four and a half minutes will be enough to get some uh, farm animals down to half a heart. I think it will. The next challenge though is to get all of said farm animals into a hole. <laughs> I need to do a slab as well. Just, you know, i do that before I forget just so they're in my inventory and then I'll probably overlook them. Just like I overlook crafting tables that are in my inventory. Um, okay, so there's the part where I forgot the elytra. Isn't it good that I was over water that time? I think it's pretty good. I'm just thinking about what could happen there in varying scenarios and, and a few of them are good. So, okay, we should find like a nice open, wait, okay, we have sheep, chicken, this like, oh, come on. All right, mm. we don't have horse and we don't have pig though. The biggest trouble is with like the, the fifth because you can pretty regularly, I feel like find chicken, pig, sheep, cow in a, in a close area, but then, ooh, are you ready? By the way, are you honeyed up? No, there are like no bees around. Anyway, but finding the fifth one, like a horse or a llama, that's where it can get a little bit tricky. Do I set, actually, what, what am I doing? I need, to, I need to bring like the stuff. Otherwise, why would they even be tempted to join me? I need a seed, I need wheat, I need a carrot, I need all the stuff. I might as well just grab it from the farm right now in order to do it. A little bit of wheat, a little bit of seed, and that should do us just fine, I think. What is it to lure horses? Can't they, they like apples, right? God, I always forget this. That's right, they like gold, so we're fine. Is this a, th is this a thunderstorm? Is this a, th oh my God, it's a thunderstorm. Oh my God, it's a thunderstorm. Go! Oh, you're actually, actually kidding me. You are actually kidding me. You're, you're actually kidding me right now. You're, you're kidding. You are kidding me. You're kidding. Okay, I've not like got channeling anywhere here, right? I was thinking like, let's make a desperate, desperate Hail Mary trip to the ocean and see if we can, God dang it. God, God dang it, man. Okay, well, I mean, we can probably do this at least, you know, get the, get the lightning rod down up here. Maybe we can get a strike. Right? There you go. There you go. Hit it, hit it. Unbelievable. Does it need to be like, wait, what's the criteria for this sur for surge protector again? God dang it, because it hit. Frick. Right? It, it, it has to stop a villager from being turned into a witch when otherwise would have if you didn't have the lightning rod. Okay, frick. God, I'm so mad. I can't, this is, I materialized this. I just want to say the fact that I, the fact that I said that, goo. Oh my God, lightningless or stormless speedruns are a thing and I should get a trident early so that I can be ready. It was like, here, have it, have the, have it, have it now, have the thing now so that now you can wait for 10 years, for 10 years for the next one. This is what happened also uh, in my 1.19 all advancement speedrun. I did everything else, every single other advancement and I had to leave the game open for like days, not days in game time, days of real time. Are we, are we thundering? Or is the, is the storm, let me, I'm, I'm gonna assume there's no more storm. There's no more storm, right? It's not, it's not here anymore. It's, it's, it's gone away. It's gone away, right? Oh, I try hop there. I'm just gonna, it, here. Okay. And as quickly as it began, it, it went, it left. Bye bye. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right uh right here, and then you are going to be saved, my friend. It's gonna be cool. You won't be turned into a witch, and then I'll have the trident, and then I'll throw it at you. <laughs> that's kind of that's mean, but yeah. You know, what else can you do, right? Unbelievable! This is it's just the that's that's how storms work though. They're they're there for like a, ten seconds, and then they're like bye bye. Still gonna keep the rain so that it's just annoying for your compression. I need a mushroom, actually. I need to get a fermented spider eye to do zombie doctor, so 
Let's grab that. And, uh... <sighs> Be gone, stupid rain. Okay, well, now I have eaten um, a good amount of my fireworks. Let me go make some more. We don't need any more gunpowder for any reason at the moment that's not being dedicated towards fireworks, I don't think. And then let's do that, and now we will fly around for a little bit until we can find a suitable area. You know what? It's gonna, it's gonna sound monstrous, but do you fit in a one by one? Do you, you don't, do you fit, because if you don't fit in a one by one, this may, this may be your lucky day, actually. It is your lucky day. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Well, we got the pigs, we got the chickens, we got the cows, we don't have the sheep. God dang it! It always wants to satisfy, like, just some of the criteria, but not others. Here's the thing, like, I guess I could, I could put the turtle, like, in a, in a wider area in front. It's risky. Oh, but wait, horses can't fit in the one by one either, so it might actually have to be a two by two, but I just... Hmm. Hmm. Ethical Minecraft or not? Okay, I got a spot. We got sheep, pigs, chickens, cows, and then we can ride a horse over. Um, so, yeah. Okay, guys, let's do this, and we'll mark the area so we don't lose it. Okay, here we go. Come on over, cows. And maybe sheep. Maybe sheep as well. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Hello, get on in here. Oh, they've lost interest. They've lost interest here. Come on. All right, so get in the hole. Get in the get in the hole real quick. Just just get on in there. Thank you. And then you can, we don't need you. Actually, I need you to I need you to go away. I don't I actually don't need it. I don't need it to be multiple cows. All right. I don't need it to be multiple cows. Here, hold on. I'm just gonna you're gonna go in. You're gonna go freaking go. God dang it, man. Go into the I really should have a lead. It, it would make this process infinitely easier. But I haven't found a swamp yet, and I don't have any slimy balls on my hands, so um you know, what can- Oh, I didn't mean to do that, I'm so sorry! I mean, well, it really isn't that big of a deal because of what your future has in store, but, um, I was accidental. I was accidental on my part. It was really bad. Uh, you, you go in the hole? Thank you, thank you. Very good stuff. All right, Mr. Piggy, here we go. Let's, uh, hop on in there, hop on in there. Probably use a water bucket in order to make this easier, but, uh, anyway, just, uh, drop them on in. Great. You're floating. How are you? Okay, cool. I might need to go get myself a, a saddle, potentially. I just want to make this a little bit quicker than having to deal with the horses. Um, you know, just trying to bring them over in the interest of, like, breeding or something. Okay, I just don't remember, like, horses, can they go in a one by 2 area? Or am I just kind of dude? dude Hmm... I don't remember, but it, I'm definitely gonna have to expand it by at least one. But what I can test is like getting it into here, right? And then kind of seeing what happens as a result. Um, okay, I'm gonna just go get a sat, wait. I have to make it across the river with the horse. I may just wanna go make a bridge and then come back here with, <laughs> with a sat, speed bridge, speed, frick! What have fallen into the void. Hold on, hold on, here he goes, here he goes. Oh, look at that. Look at that gravel go. Oh. God dang it, man. It didn't click. Awesome. It's freaking speed bridging of all time. Unbelievable. What is he doing? No. <laughs> Why is it not working? Please. Ah. Uh, I could take you over there as well. So many options, but I may want to just... That is going to be a long time luring him over. A real long time luring him over. Could do it if I wanted to save the trip home. Hmm. Horses, uh, actually, it's just gonna be such a pain in the butt to get him into the pit, so yeah, we'll be back. Okay, we got our saddle. Now, some people may, of course, be disappointed about, you know, the fact that I am doing this with innocent passive mobs. It's not very ethical Minecraft of me, regardless of if I'm not using a wolf, but also how much more of a pain it would be to do this with zombie, skeleton, creeper, get them all down to half a heart. It's just not practical, all right? And you really gotta consider the practicality when it comes to anything. Can you please either boot me off or frick, I gotta, I gotta sleep, man. I'm gonna get mobs spawning everywhere. It's gonna make it a pain. Thank you. All right, are you gonna cooperate now? This is insane. He knows where, what's gonna come of it. He's, he can read my mind. Hey, we got another advancement. That's two birds right there. Okay, this dude is slow as frick, can hardly jump. 
I feel less badly. If I just got on a horse and had the sickest stats of all time, then maybe I would be like, mm, let's do another one. But this guy is uh, underwhelming in all regards. <laughs> so, all right. Here, it's just crawling our way over here. All right, we're gonna get there soon. Let's see, can we make it into the, the one by two? Can you even get up this? Barely. All right, and can you, can you, I never, you cannot slot in there. Frick. Basically just like dealing with the turtle. I'm trying to remember what I did in 1.19, because there's obviously like a distinct possibility that one of the, the chicken jukes us, right? And then I have to recollect more animals. Fortunately, we got a good supply over here. Mother trucking cow just waltzed in. Just waltzed in. Un what are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? This is ridiculous. Hold on, I gotta have to... Okay, there we go. God! Like all the other animals, and barely, barely coax them in. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cow is just, the cow wanders over like, I'm gonna join everybody, okay? Oh, this is gonna be rough though. Now that has to be a two by two to get the horse in there, it's gonna be rough. I don't think I used a horse last time. I really don't think I did, but, well, here we, nope, get in the pit! Good job, buddy, good job. All right, so, uh, now we do, I'm gonna need you to stop jumping. God, can I even, mm. how am I gonna line them up, man? How am I gonna make sure to line them all up? I'm gonna have to wait until I like know it for sure. We may have to redo this, truth be told. Um, okay, ah, oh, boy, this, this is gonna be a tough one. I don't know if we're gonna get the full lineup here. We gotta make sure that we're hitting the chicken. I'm pretty sure, wait. Oh, okay, I thought that was mutton for a second. I was like, how did the sheep die? I think we're lined up on the chicken here. Yeah, well, all right, let's uh, let's put the potion of poison to use here. We'll see how it all, hopefully it hits them all. I guess that's the other concern. Okay, guys, here you go. Wait. <laughs> Ow, I'm poisoned, god dang it. Poisoned for a minute. What have I done? What have I done? I messed up. Did the sheep get hit? Did the sheep get hit? Obviously, the, the only reason why we're hearing only the horse right now is because the horse has a lot of health and it's still going down. That horse actually did have a, didn't think about that. That horse had a significant amount of health. I should have hit it and then checked and hit it and checked and like, oh, okay, it's good, it's good. It's low. Well, here, here we go, I guess. Oh man, I'm not so sure about this two by two area. Arbalistic, let's go! Woo, okay. All right, I wasn't sure there, but we made it, we made it work, and that is a very exciting thing. Uh, and that, let's uh, we'll seal that up so nobody, nobody knows what happened here. Just a, it's a ruin. You can find these now. It's like a trail ruin, but it's a, it's a plain, plain, spread. nothing happened. Nothing happened. We can make some leather boots now though and we could use those to try to walk on top of uh, powdered snow. That'd be another advancement. All right, I think it's time to put some more copper to use. I also need to find amethyst, and I actually think there is a place for me to find it, which is a, I don't know if I addressed, anyway, we'll, we'll get to the geode in, in a moment. I need some more golden carrots. So let me just go through all of my gold. I might as well do that. There we go. Yummy, lots and lots more carrots at the expense of our future uh, beacon. But what else do we need? We need some feathers and we need some sticks in order to make the brush. We'll just do one and then I guess just bring stuff along in order to keep making more uh, in the future. So, okay, I need to make a spyglass and I wanna look at a ghast and then you know, when we find a jungle, we'll look at a parrot and then eventually someday down the road, I will resummon the dragon uh, again. Hey, by the way, if you're still here watching, you should totally like the video. Um, and uh, you can check out Apex Hosting, link in the description, use code Captain Sparkles, get yourself 25% off a Minecraft server for your first month, play some Minecraft with your friends. So um, here's here's a little thing. When I did this jump, um, and we we had that, uh, you know, we had that little experience where it was like, hey, it's a good thing that someone said you should check the, the water, make sure it hasn't turned to ice. There was another concern that could have, it could have turned out uh, badly, to say the least, that has to do with the, the geode that is down here. And that is, where, where is it? Where is it? It's down here somewhere. 
we're still looking, still looking. Where are you at? Where wasn't, there it is, there, <laughs> hey, there he is. So that right there was exposed. And I can't remember in the footage if there was just an itty bitty crystal that was growing out of it, but it wasn't like I just didn't hit it. Or if it was like, it could have grown a crystal and if I was close to the wall, yeah, I would have hit it. But anyway, if that had grown out a little bit more, could have had a bad done. So we, uh, we got lucky there. Okay, hey, so, wait, nope, that's not fully grown. I feel like I'm playing a rando loot drop series over on live stream because that's like the only time that I ever actually uh, come into geodes and try to mine them so I can be like, okay, well, is this how I'm gonna get blaze rods? No? Okay, bummer. Well, I had to try it. Um, is there any reason to get more amethyst at all? Probably. Probably not, really. So, um, yeah, anyway, just, you know, another, another moment of getting, uh, Getting lucky. Oh God, is it night time? God dang it. Wait, uh, it's gonna be quicker. I'll just build up to the top and hope that zombies aren't eating our friends. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Sounds good. I'm not hearing any bad things. Although to be fair, we do actually need to, wait, hmm, hold on one sec, really quick. I, not yet. I should have just gone and made the uh, potion of weakness back at home and then brought it over and then I could have used this nighttime to actually, you know, lure a, uh, okay, you're still alive. I could have purposely turned our man into a, yeah, I'm not gonna do it at the moment. That would have been a great opportunity though. Absolutely great opportunity. And I missed it. You live for another day, but I will get you. Sometime in the future, I will get you. Okay, we have this though. Let's go look at a ghast. I hear one. Hello, don't crash into the ceiling. Got it. Is it a balloon? Oh yeah, I'm also really dumb because there's other stuff that I wanted to do. Um, but if, whatever, I'll use a firework. Ow, god dang it, not again. Um, yeah, there was other stuff I wanted to do over the village, like summon a golem and also cycle for respiration before going and trident hunting slash underwater ruining and stuff like that. But I didn't bring, I didn't bring the stuff. So I'm gonna bring the stuff. I do need a carved pumpkin, and I think that there were pumpkins over in the field where I did arbalistic, so let's go grab that really quick. Silly turtles, don't you know you're supposed to be in the ocean? What are you doing here? You're not even on the sand. At least this guy has the right idea. All right, I'm also gonna bring a lectern because I wanna cycle for respiration, like I said again, before we do a bunch of water sports. And um, okie dokie, this is, it's only fair. I did trigger the raid that caused the original iron golem to go bye bye so i it's it's only right that i uh i bring a new one in and also benefit from getting an advancement from it although once again i did manage to forget to bring an anvil how do i keep doing this to myself it's really quite impressive anyway okay is that i can't remember does snow actually get in the way of the iron golem being able to spawn let me just give it gotta give him gotta give him some room here you know okay there we go and let there be protection. Yeah, hired help, let's go. All right, so, hey everybody. Um, we need to get some respiration up in here and I'm sure that you guys are very, very eager to uh, make that happen. Whoever the furthest one away is, it's, you're gonna, he, he's, he's the furthest away, so naturally he's gonna become the librarian. Yeah, no, of course, it's just how it goes for some freaking unknown reason. It's gonna be, no, nobody, nobody wants to, is it you? It's you, the furthest away. Once again, every single time. Holy frick, you guys are so infuriating. I know there's a better way to do this, but holy frick, you guys. Oh my God. Somebody, somebody, please. Are you all trying to get access to the bell? Jiminy Christmas. All right, guys. Seems like a great place for us to wind down for the day, but you know, we got some advancements done. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more episodes and check the playlist if you've missed anything. Unbelievable, you guys. I'll see you next time.